Hello, my name is Logan, and today I will be showing you my fully functional weather station made out of Legos. It has an anemometer, a hygrometer, and a thermometer, all in one small package. The anemometer works by spinning the wind spinning this windmill, which drives a drive shaft down to this square that is half yellow and half black. Now there's a color sensor underneath that measures how many times per second it switches from black to yellow to black again, which calculates the re revolutions per minute and thus the wind speed. To calibrate the anemometer, you hold it out the window of a car and count how many revolutions per minute it does. I wrote a simple program on the EV3 to do this for me. And it turns out, in a one mile an hour wind, it does about 30 revolutions per minute. I just simply divide the rotations per minute of the wind turbine by 30, and that's the wind speed. The bottom of this structure is not so tidy, as it has a rat's nest of wires. But it has the, the hygrometer and the thermometer right here, all in this small package. It sends the signal through this ye yellow wire down into the Arduino. The Arduino then converts the signal into binary and pulses a light on and off that is duct taped to another color sensor. This is not the most optimal way to transfer data, but it works and there are no moving parts so it will not wear out. I've also added a 16 by 2 LCD screen to help make sure that the EV3 is always synced up with the Arduino. If you are wondering what the Arduino and the sensor came from, they came from an Arduino kit that I got a while back. You can find them on eBay and Amazon and all over the web. You may be wondering why this flashing light helps read the humidity with the EV3. It does this by the Arduino converting the decimal numbers into binary and then converting it into a, a string of long and short pulses which are then flashed in this light in the duct tape which is right against a light sensor which is then connected to the EV3. It doesn't have the fastest refresh rate or data transfer speed but it works. You will likely want to power your weather station off of a wall wart charger like this. Make sure that it is 9 volts output and that it has a barrel jack that can fit into the Arduino. Now to run the EV3 off of the wall power, you have to open up the battery bay and take all the batteries out except two. They don't have to be full, they can be dead and just take two wires from the Arduino's VIN pin and ground into the two sides of the battery bay. So the side that is closer to the sensor ports is negative and the one that is closer to the motor ports is positive. Finally, after the EV3 on the weather station receives all of the humidity and temperature data, it sends it through Bluetooth over to my other EV3 brick to be displayed from inside the house or downstairs or wherever you might be. I would highly recommend building one of these for yourself. I will post the programs in the description, however, I would recommend trying to program it yourself first. If you run into any problems, look at my program. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and learned something. Please post any other robot ideas you have down in the description for me to try out. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.